I'm going to have the proper cert installed on our BIP, which is lab.chemtechnologies.com. Now we have selected the default cipher set and all our protocols here SSL v3, TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1, and TLS 1.2. At the moment, this will not give us an A rating, as you can see from our result here on the Qualsos SSL Labs test. We're only getting a C rating, even though our protocol support is good and our certificate is good. SSL Labs is very good. It tells you at the very beginning why you're going to be capped to a C. So we're capped to a C here because we are accepting SSL V3. We're also capped to a B here because we support older RC4 protocols, which are, which are known to be weak. And we're also capped to a B because the server certificate chain is incomplete. So we're going to address all of these issues on our Loadmaster. So just to show you what it looks like in the full result here, we have a proper SAN name in our certificate, a proper certificate. We're using Rapid SSL as our certificate authority but we have nothing in the chain. So our certificate chain is incomplete. We're using SSL v3 insecure protocols and we're using insecure ciphers here as well in the default cipher list. Okay, this leaves us open to things like Poodle and the insecure RC4 ciphers. So we're just going to change a few things on the load master here to show you how to do, how to get an AA rating. So first thing, easiest thing, disable SSL v3. That's number one. Number two, the cipher set here default has the largest amount of ciphers, so it'll allow the largest amount of clients to connect, but it also includes some insecure ciphers, as you saw. Now you could choose default no RC4, but there is a cipher set that's pre-installed on the load masters called best practices. If you wish to get an A rating, well, best practice is to choose the best practices cipher set. This means that we're only using secure ciphers in our communication. Okay, the last thing we have to do is we have to address our intermediate certs. And as you can see, there's no intermediate certs here at the moment. So I have the intermediate certs downloaded and I'm going to install them here. So let's start with the SHA1 intermediate. And then we're going to put in the root certificate as well. So now we're going to redo our test by clicking clear cache at the top. And this will take approximately one minute to do. So while it's doing that, I'm just going to pause the video and I'll come back to it. Okay, we can now see that we have redone the test and we've gotten A rating this time. So our certificate, protocol support, key exchange and cipher strength are all good. We have no warnings from SSL labs here. And as you can see, our Lab.chem Technologies, which is the common name, is working well. Uh, we have um, our full chain here, as you can see. Uh, we've also got only the secure ciphers. So you'll notice that all of these are RSA ciphers. And RSA is still the most secure ciphers to use. They're all either 256 or 128 bit. Uh, you can see here, though, that with the limited amount of ciphers and with the limited amount of protocols, there are some things that will not be able to connect, such as IE6 and IE8 on XP and some old versions of Java. 
But you can also see here that uh, we don't have the weak ciphers anymore when we're not vulnerable to Poodle. So this is the best way to get an A rating on SSL Labs. So just to show you once again, only have TLS 1.0, 1.1 and 1.2 enabled. Have the correct cert installed. Choose the best practices cipher suite. And this should give you an A rating at SSL Labs.